Uh, my name is Benjamin Golis and I'm the uh, chief of the Division of Surgical Oncology at Mount Sinai. Robotic surgery is really a misnomer because it's not a robot that performs surgery. The robot is really a tool that we use as surgeons to perform better surgery. Uh, the robot can really allows us to be in the room of the patient. We sit at a console where we have magnified three-dimensional uh, imaging, uh, so we have a really uh, excellent view of the surgical field. And we also have very advanced uh, instruments which allow us to work in small spaces and perform advanced maneuvers that we're not able to perform either laparoscopically or open. We perform open surgery, laparoscopic, and robotic surgery and apply it to each individual patient or situation depending on what's the best tool to use for that patient. We're able to perform a wide um, variety of cases robotically that may not be uh, offered at other institutions. I would say that any patient that sees any of our surgeons, the robotic approach will be considered if we think it is the appropriate technique for that particular patient in that particular situation. I think the future or what's on the horizon for robotics will include any number of operations that will be able to be performed in this uh, manner. We have been able to expand uh, the breadth of what we're doing to include robotic approaches through liver uh, tumors, pancreatic, stomach, small bowel, colon. So I think that there is anything that we're able to perform through an open or laparoscopic approach, I, we will very soon, if not already, be able to perform that operation in a robotic manner if and when we think that that's the most appropriate approach. In our patient population, which generally consists of patients with various types of gastrointestinal cancers, um, we've performed a wide variety of robotic procedures and we're really seeing benefit uh, to the vast majority of those patients. Uh, what we're seeing is these patients benefit from the small incisions uh, as opposed to a larger laparotomy incision in the sense that a lot of our patients are using very small amounts of narcotic pain medications, in some cases not using any at all. They're spending much less time in the hospital and I think most importantly they're resuming their normal activities in a much uh, quicker manner than they were from either laparoscopic or open approaches.